Our man Vulcan is in deep trouble. If I land my stun, I can grab the ult on him. Well, we missed the stun. Let's see if we can snipe good shit. Let's see what Morgan does. Alrighty then. Great play by Morgan. I wasn't sure who she transformed into, but that was the right choice. What is up beautiful people, it's Saladin here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Naja Support as a pretty much last game of viable Naja Support before he gets the nerf and Sir Cat treatment. It really worked well for- oh, look at these men, look at these men. We can fight them, I think. I mean, in five seconds I'm gonna have another ring, so it should work out. You cannot box me, friend. <laughs> Looks like I lost the purple experience. It's unfortunate, but I just wanted a piece of that booty. Just swinging in and out, trying to get some damage off of Apollo. Maybe keep him distracted. Can't really invest because they started pushing earlier than us. I have a feeling that Apollo is stuck on our big harpy, which will be a huge mistake if you did. No, it's fine, it's fine. This is really not worth it until they buff him. Jesus. <laughs> So yeah, um, let's stun this man right here. Oh, the Sobek might be dead. Yeah, it looks like it's fine for them. They just get him back off, it's fine. Let's see if I can throw in a Enemy ring. Nah, I mean, it's a back. So yeah, well, uh, last viable Naja support game. Hopefully it'll go well and we win this, so I won't need to play this anymore. I'm not a big fan of Naja support myself because it's way too cheesy in my for my taste. Oh, this is bad. I might die here, but Apollo is pretty low himself. Let's see if we can bait here. I have shells, so shell baits are quite strong. Looks like Sobek is taking the bait. He really has the damage to kill me. There's the bait. That's my shell. Let's see if Shibalanki will be able to kill him. All right, all right, good stuff. We might, he might need some help. Let's come back. Oh, nice. Paulo didn't take into account the fact that Shibalanki has his one, and it does a pretty hefty amount of damage early on. Let's just back here. So yeah, Nazo support, way too cheesy for my taste, also doesn't work in high level ranks or works poorly, usually just a pop stun trick, but quite effective one at that. It's a very good setup similar to Kumbakarna, but in my opinion, yeah, exactly, the Kumbakarna is a way better guardian while providing the same setup. Let's look for a stun, maybe bait some mana out of him, no, he didn't take the bait. in the wave basically the ring uh, gives a lot of damage to Naja early on as oh the Sobek makes the same mistake again the ring bounce is gonna do a lot of damage here Janice is here as well I don't think we're killing this Apollo but still pretty good rotation pretty good ultimate on point as well but not really needed but still good play off of our Janice do we have a Janice jungle god damn I didn't pay attention to that so yeah, huge potential with the protection shred on his ring, bounces, uh, just a lot of slow in the dual lane when you need two targets for the ring to be effective and dual lane is just perfect for that. As soon as it was discovered, it's just a shit show. Same for Sir Cat. He just still can deal a lot of damage and set up for your team with a stun on his three, with his ultimate, with the ring slow and the healing. Basically you have the whole kit that usually Guardian has. Lots of CC setup, slow and a healing, so pretty much that. 
and if things go really sour you can just alt that from ability and even if you build like full tank as I'm gonna do right now you're still gonna dish out significant amount of damage but more importantly the setup is just cruel so it works way too well in support lane they gotta nerf his base damage and increase his scaling which will basically force the character to build into more damage which is how it's supposed to be and it works quite well for circuit so hopefully this shit is about to end and that's why we're playing Naja here just to reminisce on the old trick. Let's see if I can ult him. He's probably gonna beats here, yep, we got the beats. He should ult, but we still may be able to kill him. Yeah, he's very, very dead. Good shit. Shibalanki through his two, which apparently looks like he levels up. Uh, point blank, all the darts hit him, I believe, and that's a lot of dot damage. And level 6, it feels like a good time to rotate. Let's see if we can grab the beats of someone like Vulcan would be preferable. Sobek also rotate even though he's level 5, which is kind of wrong. We can bounce off of that a couple times. Nothing significant. Unfortunately, I missed that shit. They're zoning quite well, Susanna is also here. He might blink in or some shit like that, so we're gonna look at our man Apollo here. He has no beats, so he is pretty much available. Okay, Jadis is on point with his ults. This man knows how to land an ult, I'll give him that. Now with the upgraded Teleri boots, we can be more present on the map. Our rotation speed increases. Let's see if we can bait the beats off of a Vulcan. If I get lucky with my three. Looks like he decided to hold off on the beats. Okay, that's a very weird moment to beats. If my ring landed on him, he would have died. So he got a bit lucky. Can I bounce it? Can I bounce it though? This might be good. Nope, it's not. My two isn't up. I'm dead. It's fine. I decided not to burn shell because uh, most probably I would have still died and that would just be a wasted shell. Janus took out the Vulcan. We traded support for mid. I'm totally okay with that. Let's grab this small cam real quick. gonna look at my man Apollo here he's okay. two levels behind but we still can apply more pressure unless he decides to die before I come in I guess that was a wasted rotation unfortunately really. let's work this up oh the purple's up let's see if we can grab it should and keep back so in case somebody comes I should straight up run Got the purple here. Let's see if the red's up. Enemy. Somebody's there. Susanna's here. Oh, I'm in deep shit. That unfortunately didn't land. I am really, really dead. But let's let's steal as much time off of them as we can. A solid 10 seconds chasing me down there. That considering the situation, that was the best I could. Our man Vulcan is in deep trouble. If I land my stun, I can grab the alt on him. Well, we missed the stun. Let's see if we can snipe good shit. Let's see what Morrigan does. Alrighty then. Great play by Morrigan. I wasn't sure who she transformed into, but that was the right choice. Janus ult's quite strong to secure that. Fortunately, we grabbed this red buff. Now we're just gonna steal some experience in mid. I probably should have picked up the red. Oh, there's Apollo. If I just could bounce this off of Oracles, that would be nice. Looks like we got peeled. Just gonna back off here. Show myself on the ward.
mid tower is going down quite quickly. Let's drop this purple. Be careful, left. Enemy missing middle. Shush. Farewell. Looks like Apollo has no problem freezing the lane, unlike our Shibalanki. He does not consider it being a bad thing in casuals, huh? Does most of the Shibalanki advantage is being gone. I'm pretty sure that in a couple of minutes Shibalanki will be the same level and experience as this Apollo if this goes on. Let's see if I can bait beats. No. I would not be able to do that. I'm not gonna risk to dive into a tower. Chance of missing this ult is way too high, so I'm just gonna back off here. Oh, Vulcan is coming in. That's an ult. That's his beats. That's Janus coming in. Good stuff. I'm still gonna grab this red, I think. I have no idea why our jungler picks this up really, <laughs> but he just keeps picking up the red instead of the speed. That's Apollo ult wasted. It's more than enough for me. We're gonna back off here. Let's see if I can stun him out of the portal. That's a lot of CC. Oh man, he really has one HP, huh? But I think he's out of mobility, so yep. Then assault caught him. Let's see if the speed is up. Nah, shit. If I could have grabbed it, it would have been nice. Gonna check on the gank on the Senators. Let's wait for him to invest in. Yeah, he goes for the clear. That's his ult, huh? Shut down. I will just walk into that easily. I can chase him down and stop him with my ult enough for any player to react. Camazos for some reason has a blink. Will he kill the man? He killed the man. I know why he lost his lane, because he has a goddamn blink as a relic in the solo lane. Susanna's here. He's two levels behind our solo laner, so we can bully. Should have thrown that into turret, but it worked out anyway. Gonna pop the shield here. Just in advance. Oh, the speed's up. I'm not sure why Susanna was there in the first place if the speed was up. Maybe it wasn't when we killed him. That's very unfortunate for him and very really fortunate for me. I'm gonna have a speed buff for a... An enemy has been slain. Let's throw this ring so the minions would get in. Job. I'll attack the gold fury. Attack the gold fury. Looks like red's also up, so we'll drop in this. Sobek just literally passed by me, huh? But it's fine. If he comes in, I can stop him for a solid minute. This is like so BM. Probably gonna steal it, but I'm still just gonna drop it so the Apollo won't get any experience. It's still worth it for me. Notice how Apollo caught up with it, Shibalanki, because he freezes the lane on the regular, and Shibalanki has to step up to their tower, gets ganked, gets killed. That's how this shit works. Yep, same stuff again. He steps way out of position because uh, Apollo freezes the lane. Susanna comes in, he dies, and now he lost most of his advantage, if not all of it. Vulcan's in the jungle, we're gonna look for that. That's his beats. Let's see if I can still land an ult. Good stuff. There should be enough follow up for him to die. Yeah. Let's help Morrigan. She went to do Thanados but missed the sight, so no healing for her. I believe that was the initial plan. She's gonna old tap and see if anyone is around. Maybe Thanados still. Oh, and that will be the game. 13 kill participation out of 20 as a support. Pretty effective in my opinion. Unfortunately, this game didn't go as long as I hoped it will, but still pretty good. 
All right, in terms of builds, I'm building Talaris boots into Breastplate, into Genji's Guard, and then I'm gonna build into Magi's, and we have a decent amount of defense. We have Guardian's Blessing. Unfortunately, I forgot the Relic. God damn it. But overall, pretty straightforward support build. In terms of damage, uh, we dealt almost twice, more than twice the damage of a soul bag. Our solo laner actually 5k on top of the enemy solo laner, our mids. Yeah, our ADC is 4k on top, our solo laner is 5k on top. Our jungle is pretty much the same as enemy Susano, but our mid is pretty much the same. So the solo laner and me is actually where we really won the game. And yeah, that'll be a game of Naja Conquest, uh, last game before nerf, hopefully guys you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the gimmick, the meme, that's gonna be gone now, hopefully, for good. And if you enjoy the content like that, I applaud every other day, please leave a comment, it helps the YouTube algorithm, and leave a like on the video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it helps me a ton. Have a wonderful day, I will see you in the next video.